Hey everybody, welcome back to Koali Zoo. I I did it. I didn't say Koali Beach this <laughs> <Yay>! time. <laughs> so proud of you. I'm so proud of myself. Um, so this is episode 10 and today I'm going to be working on some, well, a bunch of things really, but mostly just buildings. And I have to say it's perhaps a little bit disappointing that once again, I'm not actually building zoo things, um, but... <laughs> I guess we've sort of just moved into the differentiation of tasks that have happened throughout the zoo where I'm sort of the architect and then Mike is kind of the landscape architect and, and then Lady and Rudy are the people actually building the zoo and <laughs> caring for the animals. We actually um, add some animals now and then. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we've got an interesting differentiation of tasks here at this point, I guess. Uh, but yeah, today I'll be working on a sort of weenie for the park. A, a weenie a again! <laughs> wow, we're not even yeah. like two minutes You're in. You're building so many weenies, oh my goodness. Yeah, I gotta get that out <laughs> weenie there. Weenie god. Uh, there, I think there's at this point, a, there's, a, there's a very fair drinking game on my channel that you can take a shot whenever I say the word weenie um, <laughs> and marathon my whole channel and be in coma afterwards. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the, the, I... Honestly, I was a bit clueless about what I could do for this episode. So I'm just kind of drifting throughout the park, adding buildings and touches everywhere. And this is the first thing that I could really think of. A central building for the main plaza, which by the, by the way, has been completely reworked at the hands of Mike. When oh God, he gave me the file. <laughs> yeah. <He did. laughs> when he gave me the file, I was um, a bit confused because the canal that I spent so much time working on in my previous episode was completely removed. Um, my bridges were somewhere at the end of the map. And um, yeah, I was a bit like, Mike, what have you done now? But to be fair, uh, we've given we've given him the reins to do this kind of stuff, so I'm just gonna have to take it and uh, go with the plan that he did make for this area, which honestly I think is much better than the old layout. In the old layout, there would be a canal going straight through the uh, center of the park with a sort of central main boulevard, but uh, Mike has decided to change things around a bit and put a, a backstage uh, section here where there's gonna be a big area where. Uh, trucks and lorries can come in and where there is some um, stores and stuff like that all kinds of backstage elements for the zoo and instead we now have a big round square with a pond in the middle of it at the front of the zoo oh oh i'm really looking forward to see that also i have to say i also feel a bit guilty i have to say because also it kind of uh, grown because of my introduction of the Sumatran island um, I think Mike cannot wait also to change stuff about that one. <laughs> and so in, in I think during the discussions that Mike and I had about the Sumatran Island, because he really was stressing the point if we would be okay to change it. And I was like, yeah, definitely we are okay. And then, you know, I think it was the week when you were going to skiing, Sylph, mm -hmm. <laughs> to be fair, when we had this, this huge discussion going on. And then we basically decided that the canal might be a little bit of a victim of, of my Sumatran idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I, I, again, I feel a bit guilty for that. So uh, <laughs> I think th this is kind of showing how it all works. I mean, at some point we could even release a, an episode just filming our discussions on Discord and just leaving that running on YouTube. No, for no, half no, an hour. no. We we had the part where t oh. where text of our Discord has been added. Let's mm. not do that again. I cannot remember anything. I cannot remember. <laughs> yeah. There was nothing happening. Oh my goodness. Um, every, everything is always completely PG-13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. It wasn't me. No, no. It's all a scam. It really, it wasn't me. <laughs> the, the thing is, there are always weird people in that giz the, the Discord group as well. I remember some different people joining as well. I'm not talking about those, but... <laughs> mm. Oh gosh, I remember that too. Yeah, that was a really cool We're going to spread too many experience. mysteries here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let them guess who it was. Welcome no. <laughs> to Mystery Island. <laughs> no, but yes. uh, in all seriousness, uh, you said you made a restaurant, but this is not a restaurant then, right? Um, yeah, so um, 
we were thinking of having some sort of main structure at the end of the entrance. So coming out of the entrance, everything is very symmetrical. You know, before the gate, you have the symmetrical ticket houses. And then you go through the gate, you have this s symmetrical sort of garden structure, which Mike made. And then you open up to the lake, which is a round lake with two paths uh, on both sides. And the terrain also kind of goes up. So you're going up the hill mm -hmm. alongside it. So everything's kind of symmetrical. So in this whole sort of geometric layout um, we figured it would be good to have some sort of you know central building at the end of all of this which has kind of the function of a Disneyland castle of being at the end of a straight road but at the same time isn't you know over the top or anything um, yeah trying to stay much more realistic here um, so the idea actually uh, was that maybe this whole like part of the zoo or maybe the zoo in general just used to be this this old palace or um, area of uh, some sort of colonial rulership, hence this colonial building here and some of the colonial houses around it and the overall uh, symmetrical setup of the gardens. And then at some point in time after independence, the, the, the garden, the, the whole estate would have been taken over and transformed into this zoo. Um, mm -hmm. So this could be like a potential history for the zoo and like a way that it all comes together in this, this messy way. It's something that happened in real life in Vienna, in Schönbrunn, mm -hmm. which used to be oh, uh, yeah. Palace Gardens. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, um, yeah and it oh, now wait, has a section, is that the which Palace Gardens what Jürgen is inspired to then? Because he has a... Yes. Oh, yeah, exactly. I didn't know... It. Oh, okay, I've now it totally makes really sense. Cool, yeah, yeah, yeah I've, exactly. Yeah. I've, yeah. I've been there once and it totally makes sense because it's, yeah, it, it really drives that story. It's so cool. And awesome. silver back to spires now. God, I love. <laughs> I, love I have that to building. admit, you're so freaking good at it. I. Oh, you actually even it's it so feels, beautiful. You're having such a, a how's it even called? Uh, it's like a habit already. <laughs> so you're, you're moving those pieces seems to be like you're so used to it. Yeah, <laughs> you know, you've built so many <laughs> yeah, of them. Yeah, this is <laughs> like kind of becoming second nature. And sometimes I also can't stop doing it. Uh, but more about that later in this video. <laughs> Wasn't there a uh, hashtag or like hashtag tower or hashtag spire? One, hashtag one more tower, hashtag one more spire. Oh, yeah. And ah, the yeah, most the important oh one, hashtag one more plank. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> because that's what your first spires were made of. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh. But oh, you inspired old... me to also inspired. Do those oh my kind god! Okay, yeah, <laughs> there's a nice pun. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh, yeah. I remember making a castle with uh, a lot of planks too back in the days, in the Alpha Planet Coaster days. It's... Oh, those were the days. Yeah. Oh yeah. God. <laughs> I remember. Yeah, yeah, this definitely feels used. reminiscent of it. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like, to be fair, like looking at, at what we achieve now in the almost like basic version of this game, I mean, we only have the Arctic DLC items, but that's about it. Uh, I think most of the items used are from the main game. And if you compare the building with the main game buildings from Planet Coaster, I'm glad to say that at least we <laughs> advanced a whole bit from there. Oh my goodness, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, totally. Except the pathway, well, once we are talking about pathing now. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, I see yeah, so I'm many people. Yeah, I'm struggling with that a bit. I, I have. Is it me or is it, is it worse than in Planet Coaster? Like we have always had this crazy path system, but for some reason, I really have the feeling it got worse in Planet Zoo. Uh, hmm. I don't know, I'm not but sure. I, I never really had like that feeling like <laughs> you're just not doing what I want you to do and. I don't know, maybe it's just because your use of the path to, in general, is just different in Planet Zoo. Yeah. Maybe it's I, just I would that. Go, yeah. I would, ag no, I would totally agree yeah. on that. Because you're more like raising and lowering and it, yeah. it's different. I totally agree on that. But to be honest, um, we can all be happy that we are not as, as much into pathing as, as Mike is. Because once oh. I talk to Mike <laughs> about how he achieved some of the stuff you will see in future episodes. Because most of it you haven't seen yet. Mike is doing a whole lot of shit in this file once he have it, has it. So <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can always uh, wait for that. But he's doing crazy stuff with the path and I could not do it. It's insane. I mean, yeah. I think we have <laughs> yeah, to live with is. that. Yeah, and especially with, like using the uh, Q path with like the three meter width and then transforming it to a normal path oh my goodness it's yeah. oh. so 
So here's it's the frontier. If you want to make a whole bunch of money, release a DLC pack of improving the pass system. That's gonna, a DLC? That's gonna be... <laughs> no, that should be a base game. <laughs> I was making yeah. fun here. No. But... Oh my goodness. <laughs> Most sold DLC ever. Wow. Uh, wow. To be fair, if, if Planet Coaster 2 comes out and they change the path system significantly, I think we might have a Picnic Benches moment too on our hands. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Oh, when yeah. Picnic Benches were implemented in Planet Coaster, it just <gasps> caused like an eruption amongst the community <laughs> and people were ecstatic for this oh, very yes. simple thing. I think the same would happen for the paths That's for true. Coaster. But I will never forget the, the faces of the elite people in the same room. I will yeah. never forget them. <laughs> they were they looking at us. Yeah. Like, understand. They, exactly. They had no idea what was happening. And they were even like asking, hey, what, what you were cheering like for picnic benches. <laughs> but I didn't know the impact of those. They didn't understand. No, it <laughs> Wait, was something. Rudy, we have some viewers here who might not know what we're talking about. Yeah, I just wow. realized. Um, basically, during the Frontier Expo, 2000, 2016? 17? 17. 17, yeah. Yeah, right. Um, there was um, there was a certain moment where on stage they would announce new things in games and at certain points they were announcing that picnic benches were being added into Planet Coaster and the crowd erupted. Well, not uh, the crowd, was... only the Planet Coaster people were of yeah, yeah, like true. 10% a of everyone that was subset there. of the room started partying. <laughs> And the rest was just like, what is wrong with these people? They're picnic <laughs> benches. <laughs> it was hilarious. But yeah, but that's the same yeah. like for, for Sims 4 people having like L-shaped stairs. That was their picnic bench moment. You could exactly tell the same vibe going on. It's super funny to see that. Like what they have with the L-shaped stairs, we had that with the picnic mm -hmm. benches. Like you've been waiting for so long and now finally... <laughs> You got like an item like ugh. Yeah, sometimes in in these creative games sometimes you just have this one thing that everybody really wants that's really simple and um, but then once it's finally there it just makes all the difference. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Definitely. How many custom picnic benches did we make? Even oh, in Kuali Beach we did. Yeah, because I remember. Because back then we didn't had any picnic benches. It's actually funny to see yeah. how old Kuali Beach is. Like, uh, yeah. you remember when I came back to you, like, hey, should we just try to exchange everything we did custom, which is now actually in the game? And we noticed how much is it, and we were like, okay, let's not do it, because it's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it would be another 10 episodes. Oh uh, my god, yeah. That was yep. insane. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so on the topic of domes and stuff, <laughs> so, I was yeah, trying to. I, I, I see you're touching my building still, so I now have two yeah. people on my list. <laughs> I uh, I couldn't help myself. I I tried to like contain my inner urges, but at the end of the day, I just I just thought I'll I'll add one more dome. Um, <laughs> I can see the comments. I can see them. <laughs> yeah. Well. Yeah, it, lo it looks like some people just don't really care about life now, do I, they? I hope I'm going to survive. <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> no, I, can, I, can, I, can. I love what you guys do. I really love what you both do. And, and uh, I just, yeah, it's just great. <laughs> well, I can say you. whatever, uh, but it's I just great. I have to say, I really, really like the building. It's got like such a great layout and sense of space. Uh, but then when I looked through the garden that N7 made, I just thought to myself, hmm, it could... <laughs> have a dome on it as well and then i just started building at it and to be fair also there are some like fair points to be made against this because it's a bit too decorated compared to the rest of the building which is like very understated classicism uh which is a very you know kind of uh chic and um sort of purposefully built style and now mm -hmm. i'm just randomly decorating it with <laughs> a, a dome it kind of feels like just putting too many chocolate sprinkles on your cake to make it fancier um, nice said. but <laughs> i, I uh, bet yeah. there are a whole bunch of people who don't mind having too many chocolate pieces on their cake yeah just saying i don't mind yeah, I, I'm uh, one of these it's people. all good also i i understand uh, that mike said yeah well maybe it's in indeed too much so uh, let's let's keep uh, let's give the people a vote and just tell us what you guys think. I can imagine we will see it in the end, right? At the tour. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, so they can see it completed, I'll try to show it and then yeah. it's all up to the viewers. What you guys want? Do we want to keep it or want to remove it? I'm all good with everything. 
<laughs> awesome. I just want to hijack uh, this this a little bit now because I have to, I just got an idea. So I like the fact that Sylph cannot contain himself to build spires. And if, if anyone out there wants to create a comic or a little picture of, of Mr. Sylph and, and his spires, just drop it in any of the discords and I will implement that in the next episode. Um, <laughs> because we totally forgot to mention one thing. Maybe we need to post that. People still await the episode on my channel, I guess, because Mike and I did a little mistake last week. Uh, so blame us. What? Uh, we, yeah, we told the people that this episode will be on my channel. I totally oh, forgot really? about the fact. Yeah, oh. uh, <laughs> which was wrong, and I totally forgot about that. So if you, well, if you watch until this point, your confusion might be gone because you see it's on Sylph channel. <laughs> but uh, to be to be on the info dump here again next week will be then be with my episode again. And yeah, I'll integrate that comic because I've, I I don't know if you remember, <laughs> but in the days of, of uh, Planet Coaster, there were a lot of comics and little sketches going on about one more plank, one more, you know, these kind yeah. of things. I would love to see something like that again. So if any one of you feels creative and wants to do it, go yeah, ahead. Con Send consider that home. to be implemented next <laughs> week. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if I've ever heard anybody request fan art before, but um, <laughs> it, it, <laughs> I appreciate well, the it's, it's, I don't it's wanna, not I for don't himself, wanna it. it's no. for you, so that's and it's the not difference. Fan art. I don't want to call it fan art. People, <laughs> do whatever you want. <laughs> it's, fan art is always, well, let's say, okay, I wouldn't put that. Like, fan art is always positive in a way, but I, what I mm. like especially about these things is that they always, like, they are very good in transporting the essence of the joke better than we could ever do it because <laughs> people out there see it in a different way. And when I got some of the comics about some of the people in the community, I always laughed my ass off because it's so accurate, but you would not do it yourself. And this is why I love it so much because they have such a different view on it. Um, and I just want to see how people out there see the Sylph and Spire relationship. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know what this reminds me of? Remember PewDiePie in 2012 mm -hmm. making amnesia videos talking about barrels and chairs and stuff. Oh. <laughs> and every video would feature like fan art of him and like one of the in-game jokes uh, <laughs> in these little comics. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's giving me some major nostalgia actually. I, oh, uh, yeah. No, oh, I didn't watch times. him back then. I don't watch him that often, though. I did watch him a few times, but no, I, I really can't. <laughs> I don't but isn't, know. But isn't he on about. a break right now? Or at least planning a so. break yeah. next year? I think yeah. he is. But yeah. I mean, I have he just no married, idea. so I, I guess that's also part of the reason and fully deserved, I guess. Uh, by the way, I just wanted <laughs> to add that this freaking entrance area looks already so great, Sylph. And I, I, love I guess that it bridge. really transports everything so nice. And now this bridge really also is kind of cool because it transports a totally different style so it's it's emerging now into the sumatran island area a bit more uh, featuring a lot more wood and stuff so I'm, i think i'm a big fan of that yeah i think this is uh this is the the the, the point in time when we're gonna have to start connecting things a bit mm -hmm. and trying to find these bridges between the different parts of the things that we've built uh, because there's a lot of little open areas like this between it with unfinished things left behind so uh, it's it's small, but it's something that I figured I could at least add a small <laughs> touch to at least bridge this section. Uh, I was originally also planning to add a building somewhere around here, but I couldn't really come up with a good plan. Mm. So instead, I just headed back to the entrance area and tried to finish it with uh, the long-promised <laughs> restaurants that... I'm I so curious with. about it. That was <laughs> by far the quickest roof building process I've ever seen right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I, I built... Actually, it kind of showed my whole process of how I build things. Usually, I try to come up with a general composition just using random roof and wall pieces to get an idea of, you know, where things are going to be and how it's going to look in the end. And then I remove everything and start with a clean slate and just try to rebuild it from there, but add in the details later uh, and go for the real build. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that was sort of my, my sketch of the building. Wow. Uh, appearing for a split second. Uh. Is there going to be an animal in that pond? I guess not, right? We already have flamingos, so that doesn't really make sense. Yeah. I think it's too small to really feature a good habitat in it. Yeah, yeah. I, I think there's also no other animal that would be naturally living in there. As I mean, we can think of some, but they're not in the game. So, yeah. Yeah, hmm. I don't really see any 
And I'm not fitting there either. Oh, the polar bear has a small requirement. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect uh, uh. that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. Oh yeah, I think God. we should Shame still build you. a giant freezer for a polar bear <laughs> somewhere in. I'm Kauai not. Zoo. I'm not gonna touch a polar bear ever again. No, that's not true. I'm gonna build a polar bear habitat in my new zoo, but. Oh, you're doing? Um, oh, I cannot wait because oh, it's inspired. Oh, it, that's a f very far away plan, but I really want to add a polar bear. But I'm a big fan of that because I. Like one thing I love about the fact that you're doing the city zoo now is I think everyone <laughs> stepped away from the city zoo because everyone thought everyone is doing a city zoo. Uh, hmm. So in the end, no one did. And this is so cool <laughs> that like finally I someone... I had no idea. I just really wanted to do something a bit more classical themed because like the Rotterdam Zoo is just really my favorite. And there's just a lot of stuff that you can use as inspiration. So yeah, I really wanted to do something like that. But your your inspiration was the Leipzig Zoo, right? The yeah, entrance. yeah, for yeah. the entrance part, yeah. But the basic uh, the the main idea was to to use a lot of uh, Rotterdam Zoo as inspiration. Okay. But now after the first episode, like a lot of people are coming up, like, oh, you should look at that zoo and that city zoo and that city zoo. So I'm probably going all the way, uh, all different kinds of city zoos as inspiration in the end. But that's fun. Like I like that. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah, it's good when it becomes an amalgamation of all kinds of different things. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, uh, I think it's. I hope it's gonna be a good one. I hope people like it. So far, so good. But it has been up for just a few hours while we are recording. So yeah, we have to wait and see. Alright, it's gonna. Be, I am enjoying it. Most important thing, right? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, exactly. That's all that really matters. <laughs> I'm more stressing out about koali. <laughs> I'm happy that Rudy is next, so I can still have a week. To figure out what to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not gonna lie. Um, I think videos always make it seem like we all know exactly what we're doing all of the time. Oh, and yeah. in uh. this case, I was honestly very anxious about my episode as well. And like, I struggled for a long time trying to figure out what I could build. And only after a few hours of putting together random stuff and then removing it again, time and time again, did I actually, you know, land on this final layout for this restaurant. Hmm. Um, so I know a lot of people sometimes comment, you know, these things that you guys build are really great, uh, but we don't know where to start and, you know, it's inspiring, but it's also kind of demotivating yeah. because it looks so much easier when you do it. It looks easier because these are videos and they're edited yeah, and yeah. they don't feature the parts where we struggle and the moments before recording when we're just like, Yeah, the hours of looking do? at a blank area. <laughs> <laughs> or the parts that you delete stuff, yes. <laughs> and and also the, the moments of like 10 minutes doing nothing, where you're just steering at, at this thinking yeah. and then just deleting it. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about those. And, and let's be honest, yeah. like, uh, I think you spoke about it, Rudy, in your video, and I also did, and uh, like... There are a lot of YouTubers and, and just players in general right now that really feel burned out. And that's just something that can happen uh, with, with these creative games. Like, like it's super hard. You can't really force creativity. And yeah. Um, so, yeah, even we, there, there might just be a week. Like, I already mentioned to Sylph, like, if you really don't feel anything, then we just skip it for a week. And mm. things happen. You, you can't force it. And especially when you have, like, this time pressure thing, like a schedule or anything like that, it can be really hard because then you feel like, oh my god, I have to do something. And then it makes it even harder to come up with something. So sometimes you really just have yeah. to let go and i think especially for youtubers like you don't want to disappoint other people or like like they're waiting for it like oh my god i'm so excited because today's saturday and it's gonna be koali zoo and we really try to uh, keep up with the schedule but yeah it, it can happen even for koali that we just like oh my god i just really don't know what to do except for rudy ren kimmel like he also has <laughs> <laughs> tons of creativity but there are just yeah. a lot of people. We're all just humans. And just like you maybe are looking at a blank park. Like I'm talking to the viewers now. <laughs> You're looking at a blank park. Like we have the same thing. And it's sometimes just really hard and struggling to, yeah. uh, to create yeah. videos if you don't feel it. I think, I think it's a fair point. Also, I want to add that, yeah, I mostly don't have the issue because I have so many ideas. But to be fair, this only works because I don't think too much about starting new series every now and then. So mm -hmm. honestly, my approach is YouTube-wise, 
totally bullshit I do. Like, honestly, I'm starting, I don't know, a new series <laughs> You're every calling your own, your own videos bullshit. <laughs> Not the videos themselves, but oh. the, the approach of having multiple series whether uh, while I'm just doing it as a, as a hobby. Like, if I would mm -hmm. be full-time, okay, yeah. but I'm not. But the reason behind that is pretty much because I know myself and I can always switch between projects. And yeah. actually, sometimes I do have the problem that I, I do not feel it. So Yosemite Valley, for, for, for example is basically paused for three weeks now. Oh, but really? People didn't really see that because there was so much other stuff going on. Yeah. Um, and I have to say, it was more of a co coincidence this time, but I, s I had the same issue. I didn't know how to move on. Like, I, I really had that, like, started uh, recording three or four times and I had so many ideas and I couldn't really feel it. And then I went back to the winter project and I just built more in one hour than I ever could do <laughs> somewhere else. It's that, you know, if you... If you're open enough to let yourself go that way, it's fine. Yeah. But I guess it, it, I, you know, I have the very fortunate situation that I do not need to worry about that. You know, mm -hmm. I do not need to put out any videos. But for those people who need to and who want to do it and if yeah. you are on a schedule, this is a different story. So yeah. I fully agree yeah. on that. So if, if you and we try and I think it is a major improvement for us that we are now again a, a group of four people. Yeah. Together with Mike and, um, you know, moving things around uh, during our scheduled episodes makes it easier because four people mm -hmm. yeah. uh, can always help out on each other. So that's really cool. And, and we can, you know, jump in when there ever is a spot available because someone else doesn't feel it or is sick or whatever. So Definitely. I think that's really, really cool. And that helps drive creativity. And that's why yeah. I strongly believe this is by far the best project of all of us. <laughs> Mm -hmm. it's, it's yeah a, it takes the pressure off yeah well no well, yeah no because <laughs> no I'm not gonna say it takes the pressure off yes it takes the pressure off when you're not having Kuali Zoo but as soon as you have it you're like 10 times more stressed than with any other project because yeah, you also really fair. really want to make something good out of it and you want to want to try to catch up with the creativity that is already in the map and uh, pff, no don't say mm -hmm. <laughs> no, it's no. <laughs> yeah, no. But honestly, I struggle with that even for my personal projects as well. Like sometimes at the end of something, I just can't, I don't dare to get back into it because I'm too afraid of ruining it or like too afraid that I can't do anything good. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, this pressure is just something that's really harmful. And yeah. sometimes you just need to step over that and just look back at what it is that you really want to play the game for and that is you just want to enjoy it and enjoy the creative process of it definitely yeah, that's, yeah. that's just kind of the focus yeah for sure and i think maybe maybe for those people who sometimes struggle with it i i found a good technique for me as well to at some point have a little bit of a it's almost like a little uh, save file that i can always reboot if i i needed to i have a whole list of ideas and it's just a very broad list of random ideas and I uh -huh. just write them down and whenever I have an idea I just write it down try to describe it with a few words and leave it in there and so whenever I, I have you know I come to the point where I don't really know how to go on I just read through the list and then sometimes it just gives me an idea um, of how to proceed in a project that is totally different from my original idea so uh, this actually helps oh, sometimes. that's very fair oh that's that's a really good idea yeah definitely yeah that's a really good point Although you are, I think, really in a crazy situation where you come up with a crazy amount of ideas. <laughs> You're really creative in that sense. Mm. Um, and not everybody has that luxury either. That's true. Yeah, but yeah that, that's you really totally have um, some kind of, um, how you call that? You're blessed. Stupidity? No, okay. No, no. That, that, <laughs> I don't know. That you're, you're blessed with, with that kind of talent, I guess. Yeah, I, I think I always compare that to um, I am super jealous at people who can randomly come up with music and, and do music out of nowhere. For, for me, this is kind of a book of Chinese and I, you know, I see there is something and I'm pretty sure there is something in it, but there's no way I ever want to or can understand that. And I think that's basically the but same. But there are a lot of uh, musicians that can't read music yeah exactly yeah. so this is crazy for me also <laughs> like it, it's not you know i i don't have ideas on uh pressing a button it's not like you come to me hey give me an idea that's not how it works it's absolutely not how it works like it for me it's, oh <laughs> for me it's like i go through i don't know i'm, I'm just driving to work and then I, I just watch over the river and all of a sudden i got an idea mm. it totally happens mm. random 
and yeah. But I that think... also happens for me if I just look at a workshop item or like a YouTube video. That can give me a completely different, but give me some inspiration to do something. So yeah. it can help. But yeah, totally. I yeah. think uh, speed build is over, right? <laughs> yeah. So um... <laughs> let's jump in a tour. <laughs> Yeah, let's quickly segue into a quick tour of what I've done today, even if it's not that much in terms of. Well, I'm really curious to the restaurant. Space. Like we we went way off topic, but I'm really curious how it, <laughs> yeah. it, oh, it looks. Yeah. I got a bit distracted. So right, while you there's a in, there's a restaurant. Yeah, yeah. while you um, in itself, let me just ask you. So is this still based on the initial idea we had? I remember talking about this restaurant very early on when 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 you built the first part of your Main Street Canal. I remember that this is uh, has been in talks what, what could be a connection between us two and we talked about the possible restaurant. So I think it's more or less like what we talked about back then, right? Um, yeah, kind of. Uh, it's something that kind of came together Mostly because we were wondering, you know, what can we do with this whole entrance area? There's this large circle with a lake in the middle and it has to be, you know, filled with some kind of facilities. Um, so the idea that we're throwing around now is that the central building with the dome at the end of the straight path uh, would be a museum of sorts where you can see the history of the park and various artifacts, things like this. One of those little retreats in the zoo where you can do something else than just, you know, standard activities and just calm down for a sec. Uh, and then to the left of that, the restaurant just kind of fits in the best because it connects quite well to I love um, the, the shape the whole... of the restaurant. Wow. It, it's really cool. It's a, <laughs> Oh God, it's, it took a lot of uh, hours Pain of putting and random roofs together <laughs> to get here, yeah. Um, really cool. But yeah, I think it connects decently in this sense to the area back here that N7 made with the uh, the little benches and things like that as well. So you get this oh, whole general yeah. relaxation area and yeah. oh, you know, you so have to cool. find a way to somehow transition from the entrance into the rest of the zoo here as well. So, I really love nice. it. I, I yeah. really think that this is... Uh, Wow, it's I, you said you didn't do that much, but in every different areas. But I think you did a lot um, by repositioning the buildings. Like you also fit in a quite huge area that was a big, big gap in our park so far. But now mm -hmm. it really got a personality here, and I love this this modern esque uh, staircase over here, like the wide. That's big really steps, cool. Uh, yeah, like really, it's inviting. Oh, yeah. You know, it's inviting you to the building and. Um, gets a bit of false perspective even in so I really really like that a lot definitely I, I totally agree I just that. realized I really should make cool. some smaller steps over here so that people can actually walk up and then sit on these ledges uh, that's something I'll add in a second <laughs> that's cool um, <laughs> but yeah that was the idea to just sort of because there is this height difference here there, there is this elevation um, and I need it I need to I needed to overcome that in some way so I figured I saw this picture somewhere of uh, a resort in Indonesia using a hillside like this with different planters and ledges that people uh, and I figured it could work really well this idea of to transition into the restaurant here mm. but yeah oh, oh, I really I really like it I have to say though other than that um, it's very simple it's very stripped down and I'm very open to people adding some clutter around it as well because right now it's really just the basic architecture but don't it's trust all me with doing very, anything yeah. i will just delete it i'll just delete it oh <laughs> <laughs> no. uh, sure i'll uh, save a blueprint and, and i think and the micro house will be deleted with it then no <laughs> we can uh, no, so I really love it. It. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> don't worry we have so many different files and i guess mike has all of them <laughs> <laughs> i hope so i hope he's gonna be able to somehow you know synergize all of these things together his plan is also to move sumatra island to the left because okay so back uh, here behind I, these buildings the there's going to be a backstage area <laughs> and then all of this is going to be moved. i wish him good luck he should take a week off to do that <laughs> <laughs> i have no idea how he plans on doing any of this but no yeah. so i, <laughs> I have really to, don't know either i really have to make sure that i pitch this again because 
I am first of all, I'm really, I'm really curious to see how he's going to make that because actually none of this island is basically a, a, an asset that you can move except yeah. the roofs, I guess. Yeah. Um, oh, fun story by the way. Every single one of us except Lady, we all <laughs> changed the roofs of my buildings to have no Z fighting, and we didn't talk about that. So oh, <laughs> basically, oh, yeah, three people that. fixed that. <laughs> Oh my goodness! Uh, yeah. You've I all have... been putting hours of work in that <laughs> in that roof, and you all did the same. Yeah. It's crazy. Well, Rudy, I hope you learned your lesson and not leave Z fighting in the park anymore, because this makes everybody try to fix it <laughs> without. Yeah. Uh, I again, I, I I just wanted to pitch that because I I have to raise my hand and say sorry for that again because the island I think. M I like a lot of parts of it, but because of that time pressure we talked about earlier in today's episode, um, that was the week where I jumped in for Lady and I tried to come up with something in, in a very short <laughs> amount of time. Yeah. Uh, I have to say I didn't work as tidy as I could normally. And this is also part of the reason why I'm super curious what Mike is going to do, because I feel <laughs> like there's a really, really great potential in Sumatran Island. But it needs a lot of love and yeah. a lot of, uh, uh, let's say, happy, healthy, parasitic uh, <laughs> rework, <laughs> to put it that way. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm really curious to see. And yeah, as I said also in our chat, if there are two things I really love about that, that's the rice fields and the roof mm -hmm. buildings, like mm -hmm. buildings in general. Um, but the rest of it is, is almost like, yeah, there's a whole bunch of improvement left in there. So I really hope that this will be treated with the same love that Mike did with the reptile house and also the education center and then mm -hmm. it's gonna be awesome yeah and then oh, we just leave still putting a spire on some of the buildings and <laughs> everyone is happy <laughs> yup <laughs> there still are enrichment items in the water though oh yeah true mm. Oop. Um, I actually deleted they're, them they're as well but this, yeah, yeah like I deleted time. them as well but um, I think in the process of exchanging files maybe that has been a, an older file then yeah, mm, yeah. <laughs> could be could be I think it looks really good though like I really like it the the struggle is fitting it into the rest of the park and like making things blend mm -hmm. together and smoothly coming together as a coherent whole uh, but this is something that also you can't really do as one person in one episode it takes a lot of shuffling things around and rethinking the yeah. layout until things work out uh, these are the things that I think take some trial and error and a lot of thought process. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And I feel like this is why I love this collaboration so much because it is an organic feel in the end and, and it evolves over time. You add things and you add skylines and you add different elements, weenies, as we learned <laughs> a lot. Um, and this change changed the character of a doll. And, yeah. and that's why you need to every now and then change some things around. Yeah. Are you seriously having 15 FPS in pause mode? Yeah, uh, this is something I should note. Oh my <laughs> this goodness. This whole time I've been complaining yeah. about my frame rates and Lady, Rudy and Mike have just been like, what, what are you, how are, how do you, how are your frames this low? But yeah, my <laughs> PC is just that crap. I've been getting 15 FPS uh, at oh. most, usually, even in paused. So I'm sorry if my wow. footage isn't all of that. All that. Doesn't great. it help you to to remove all the guests to close the zoo? That's you could try that. A really good idea that I really should have considered. It helped with Planet Coaster, but I did hear rumors that it doesn't really help in Planet Zoo. But you could at least try that. Uh, yeah, I'll definitely yeah, try. It. Because I'm also I'm also still confused why it would be good. Because I remember that both of us had main mainly the, the same machine. I remember when we first talked, we figured that we basically had the same machine. I think two years ago, and it's not that bad, you know. And this is why I'm wondering. It's actually your graphics card is still decent, and your processor is also capable of doing it. So I'm really wondering why though. If it's hmm. maybe the last. Did you uh, change the quality of the game? Um, I did downgrade it a bit. Uh, I think the problem is just that uh, I shouldn't do that. If I downgrade it, I get worse FPS. Huh. I have it hmm. on high always. If I lower it, it always get worse. Worse for some reason, but that could also maybe depend on what graphic card you have. But yeah, it's super weird. I didn't really notice anything. But yeah, I think my PC is just too full of different softwares and things, and I just really need to do a reset, which <laughs> I haven't done in a while. That might fix things. I did, you know, try to fix my PC up this week and start cleaning it and removing all kinds of things. Um, found a bit yeah. of malware in there, um, but 
the mm. change yeah it didn't actually improve that and a much. lot of meme wear <laughs> <laughs> but by the way the spire on my building i really like it it looks really good you you were just there in that area i, I think it looks really good i also really yeah. like it how you can see that that point of that building of yours at the flamingos oh right yeah. in oh, between yeah. those buildings yeah. that's really cool yeah right uh, i think I've, i'm something that throughout you know <laughs> everything that i try to do is at least try to keep sight lines in mind as much as possible and try to think you know from which perspectives are guests, are guests gonna walk and are they gonna see these structures um so yeah but that's really cool yeah that's definitely that's one reason why i couldn't stop myself from putting a dome on your building <laughs> against my better judgment <laughs> yeah, because makes it sense. just makes it sense. just works when you're walking in there and you see that dome in the distance and then from this side you see the dome peeking between the trees as you're walking uh through this garden and then even on this garden here uh you just get these really interesting oh, really nice. sort of perspectives of it yeah um, oh yeah, I totally. And agree. the same, actually, another sightline that I think is quite interesting is that from the entrance, you can see the flamingo house uh, peeking between the palm trees and the buildings here. Uh, yeah, that's the, the one I mean. The, oh, the yeah. point. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I love it. That's so good. That's so cool. Yeah. I yeah, really I really it. like that. It's actually evolving quite quickly. Now. Yeah. We're in episode ten. Um. So. Yeah, it's crazy. We're not to finished see yet, what, but what's, what's there's been yeah done in ten episodes. Yeah, definitely. Yep. It's 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 yeah, it's awesome. It's really nice to work with you guys. Like, yes, there has been a lot of stuff deleted and changed over <laughs> the time, but it's also just super inspiring to see how other people just yeah change, have a different view of things, and I, I really yeah, it's 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 a lot of fun. I think something that yeah. is worth noting compared to Koali Beach is in Koali Beach what we often what we did was we all had our own areas and our own projects and built our own yeah. things uh, and it worked it came together as a coherent whole I think because we all used the same pieces mm -hmm. um, and you yeah. had the same thatch roofs and wooden beams throughout the entire park uh, in Koali Zoo we're sort of taking a very different approach where everything's kind of mixed together and we're all adding things here and there uh, and there's a lot more mixture and a lot less clarity in telling you know exactly who did what um, and there's a bit it's it's difficult sometimes when you collaborate like this because you know people might change your things around or you might completely lose some things that you've done uh, I was mm -hmm. a little bit pissy when I saw that N7 deleted the whole canal that I had spent time on <laughs> in the last episode. Uh, but at the end of the day, mm -hmm. I just appreciate the final pro uh, product. And I think, you know, the yeah. park came out better in the end for it as well. So definitely, it's going to be an interesting collaboration in that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Well, don't expect me to delete any stuff because I just know that I will never do any better than you guys do. <laughs> Oh, well, I will leave my stuff for you guys yeah. to improve, I guess. I'll also, I'll, I'll let, I have to say, sorry, I'll let the audience know real quick that N7 didn't delete anything. There's still some stuff here. We're just going to have to see <laughs> when we're going to fit that in later. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I, I have to say, though, like, I, first of all, I, I do agree to 100% with what you just said, that at the beginning, it is definitely a different process and you have to get used to it. And yeah, as I was the first one where Mike really stroke, <laughs> um, I, I can say that it's very, very different in the, in the first moment. Um, but I have to really say that I, it's hard to, hard to put in words because um, people were... I not even I don't want to say mean, but people have been very questioning um, when Mike did so much in in the um, temple build, mm. mm -hmm. and we all were saying, "Hey, but it's for the good. It's for the good." And mm -hmm. I'm I'm just happy that we were right at the end because I think the way it is working out right now, we could have not done it as you said, Sylph, with everyone working on its own little area. And yeah. to be fair, also in a zoo, there is so much more you have to keep in mind of redoing stuff every now and then. A theme park, on the other hand side, can be planned very easily from the beginning. You don't have to react to living specimens and stuff. So I think it's kind of also compromising, or not, it's kind of supporting the idea of a zoo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel what you mean, yeah. Yeah, I think it's fair to say that Mike changed the dynamic of how Koali, how Koali works. <laughs> oh my god, yes he did. 
but it's the best decision but ever for, yeah. for the process and everything. It's <clears throat> really cool. Yeah, yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, whenever Absolutely. like whenever you see the result, I think we can all agree that we all You're saw like, our jaws dropping yeah, and hearing them clocking to the floor. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah. I mean, at the minutes, end of the day, recording. it's also something oh my God. where. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, sorry. I'll try to make an end. Of, I'll try to end it yeah. here. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's also a thing where you try to make the whole more than the part. What, what is the saying again? Well, you, you no. know the saying. Uh, basically, <laughs> to make something that's to make something that's better than what each of us could have done alone. Basically. Yeah. 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 yeah makes totally. Sense. And I think it's it's definitely getting there the way that I feel about it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I'm just curious, who's the next person to take the pile at this point? Rudy. C'est moi. Rudy. Oh, yeah. So Yes, yes. I have a, what are your plans? Uh, so, yeah, I've, I've got a very, very... This time I really have a, already a pretty uh, precise plan. Um, so I'm going to make a walk in Lemur um, Habitat. I'm not sure if it's going to be the Lemur or the Red Panda, though. I, I still am, because Red Panda might not be too good because of temperatures and stuff, so might even be the Lemur or the Red Rough Lemur. We're going to see what works better, maybe both. Um, but it's going to be a bit like a, an experience center, where you go in and it's almost like a little story-driven thing. Uh, and it will feature an indoor and outdoor part. As well as somehow mm. a little bit of an exciting uh, thing to implement the monorail in a way. Ooh, so sounds cool. Yeah, and I think w when there's one thing I want to say, it's gonna be definitely smaller than my previous areas. <laughs> Good to mention, not half the size okay. of the park. <laughs> We're not finished next week, guys. Don't <laughs> worry, Rudy it's is like, not going like to people, finish. Don't, don't give it back so. to Rudy. Don't give it back to Rudy. It's gonna be finished then. <laughs> No, I was talking to Frontier to uh, make the size of the map as uh, you know double the size next update, so we are safe. Uh, Silf okay. computer is not even going to handle the next episode, probably. Oh, I should have asked Frontier yeah. first to send the <laughs> computer <laughs> to Silf then. <laughs> it's gonna be a thing. <laughs> we have to be finished in four episodes, guys, because our Silf computer will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll have to buy a new computer. <laughs> we'll just. Uh, I'll, I'll set up a Patreon account or whatever. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do something. Do it. We'll, we'll get there. Um, <laughs> for now, though, it's it's still workable. I've 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 had worse in Planet Coaster. Planet Coaster has kind of prepared me for this. Anyway. Oh, that's true. Definitely. Yeah, I feel you. Oh, oh yes. Well. <laughs> I... We should re we should really end it here yeah. before we hit an hour yeah. long video. <laughs> uh, thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys. Thank you guys. And thanks also for everybody watching. Um, and I hope to see you in the next episode on Rudy's channel. We'll see how it goes. Cool. Bye guys. Bye. Bye.